Hello, hello. Welcome to my garden once again. Maybe you saw my um, video posted a few days ago, and uh, then you can see, and this color scheme is completely different. Um, in my latest film, I was showing uh, the display outside the, the gate and at the main entrance and there I was mainly using white, uh, purple, soft pink, uh, blue and uh, aubergine. But here I am using so much orange, also together with aubergine. And um, when I have shown um, the display outside the gate, uh, I have also shown this one. This is Paul Shearer. Um, it's a great, great, um, very dark tulip. And uh, also this one is uh, quite dark. This is uh, Black Hero. You can see it um, almost look like an arty skunk. And um, the dark colors here go so well together uh, with all the orange ones and you can see that I have black hero here, I have black hero there and um, also there. This one is um, black parrot um, and um, I would also like to show you the buds here. See green with a little uh, hint of um, opposite. I think that orange it's such a great color. Also here in the spring, I know that uh, some people think that um, that um, orange is a late summer or autumn color, but um, I think it's um, such a positive color. And uh, as I have said, especially uh, together with the dark maroon uh, tulips. This one, this is this is Jimmy, and uh, it's also a great, great uh, variety. Also here, I have uh, erysimums, wallflower, viola cornutas, pansies, and um, fusocarpus. It's such a great shrub. And uh, then I'm growing geum in, um, in the containers here. Geum is a perennial, and um, this perennial is coming back year after year, also in pots, also in containers. Uh, I can tell you that we in the spring we replant um, all the perennials, we give them fresh soil. Some perennials can be a little bit difficult to grow uh, season after season in containers, but um, luckily uh, geum is coming back year after year. One more great tulip is uh, this one. This is Slava and um, it's going so well with the purple uh, tulips and the orange ones because you have both uh, colors here. And uh, then there's a lily flowering um, tulip and um, this one, this is a very classic variety, well known, planted for many years. This is um, Ballerina. I think also this tulip has such a great color. Sometimes people ask me how um, I'm combining the plants and um, I would um, like to show you here what the inspiration have been uh, for, for this um, color scheme here. Um, I have such a beautiful erysimum here and um, in this erysimum you both have um, a lavender color and um, also orange. This tulip is um, Princess Irene, also with a hint of purple. And um, this one, um, it's a beautiful variety with fringed edges, a purple crystal. And um, yes, you can also see that it goes so well um, together with all the other tulips. Um, also here I'm using geum, I'm having um, pansies and viola cornutas. But I have one more color scheme to show you. And this color scheme is completely different from this one. 
as you can see, this is a completely different color scheme. Here I have um, pink tulips, I have some white tulips, I have white daffodils and I have pink forget-me-nots. And then I'm also using limey foliage. Um, this one, this is uh, Philadelphus with limey to chartreuse um, foliage um, leaves and uh, I just love this plant. But of course I would um, like to talk about uh, some of the tulips here and um, give you the names. So many great tulips here. This is um, Mistress, a classic uh, variety. Blushing Girl with a hint of um, pink here. Over here we have um, Cacheral with a fringed edge and um, also a white one. This is um, White Prince. And um, here you can see the pink musotis. Um, it's always great with um, small flowers together with the bigger ones. And um, you should also see this. I have shown it um, before. Um, this is uh, Talia, a little great um, daffodil. Goes also well with the other flowers. A quite well-known variety is this one, Ange Lick, and uh, this is such a beloved tulip. And uh, of course, I understand this because it's so romantic. Again, we have the forget me not, and then we have Nero. Come, sir, Nero, are you here? Nero, come with the ball. Come here. Yeah, you're going around here, and then yes. Oh, can you take it? Let's see our circus dog. Come here. Come here. Come here. Here we are. Yes. And uh, yes, Musotis, forget me not. And uh, then we also have Bellis. This Bellis is a uh, tasso strawberry and um, cream, also a great variety. And um, the latest tulip I would um, like to talk about today is this one. This is um, Sweet Flag. Also a very, very nice variety, and you can see here with a hint of pink. Also going very, very well with the Myosotis and also with the Talia daffodils. Once again, I would like to thank you so much for watching here my little film. Um, as I have said, it was two very, very different um, color schemes. Um, today and um, I hope that you like them and um, I will wish you a great day. Goodbye, goodbye.